Hi everybody, this is Beach Cricket, and today's video is going to be about, hey, I'm in my 11th month of van living, and it's been a whirlwind experience of fun, disappointment, you know, life. But it's been interesting, and I wouldn't change anything about it at all, except for maybe being a little bit more prepared, what I know now. That's why I'm making these videos, so you don't make those mistakes, <laughs> and helping you out. It's fun. And um, knowledge is power. So anyway, today is going to be um, a video about first aid. This is so crucial, and a lot of people just forget about it once they get out there in their travels and they're doing things they're like hiking, biking, doing all this fun, adventurous stuff. Then they get hurt, and they're like, well, darn, I don't even have a band-aid, <laughs> let alone anything else. So, so, you won't make that mistake, I'm going to show you how to put together a good first aid kit and to have a few things around for your own health. Just being street smart. Okay, here we go. Okay, everything on this table is what I think is essential for your van living, traveling, or really in your life to have for, for your health and for your safety. Okay, let's get started. The first thing I have is the alcohol. It's um, a wonderful antiseptic and sanitizer, and it's an antibacterial cleaning agent, so it's wonderful for um, minor cuts and abrasions, so it's fantastic to have. The same thing with hydrogen peroxide. It also is a topical solution um, for first aid antiseptic, and also an oral um, agent as well. I brush my teeth a lot of times with the hydrogen peroxide along with um, mending cuts and bruises with it. Now this is one that a lot of people say yes, some say no. I've had this one for a long time. Um, I use this because it is uh, it, the hand sanitizer which kills 99.99% .99 of germs. And some people say that you're supposed to have a healthy amount of germs and that hand sanitizer defeats the purpose of, um, you know, having them there. So, you know, it's just your choice on that. I prefer it. I use it not every time I need to sanitize my hands. I wash my hands a lot, but I use it here and there. Now, I recommend that you have some type of sports... Um, rub or soaking solution because you're going to be hiking and you're going to be doing sports outside. You're going to be doing things that you normally don't do when you're traveling and you're doing a lot of walking. And so you're going to have some pain associated with all those activities. And so the best thing that I can suggest, I have arthritis and I'm 63, so um with that, I have the aches and pains going along with arthritis, so it helps me, especially on my shoulders and my joints where I do a lot of uh, walking. So I recommend having some type of sports cream or solution for that scenario. Also have a wrap, ace bandage, whatever, to support either aching ankles, wrists, whatever whatever you need, knees, so you'll have that on hand if you if you need some support. I believe firmly in taking care of the oral cavity in your mouth. Keep those teeth clean and keep the bacteria at bay. So this is the one that I prefer. It's just wonderful. It has some um, peroxide also in it, so it, uh, it bubbles and cleans your teeth and it really does a good job on um, helping cavities and strengthening your teeth and killing bad breath and germs, all that stuff. So that's the one that I like and I use. And of course, have your toothbrush, brush those teeth, keep them clean, and along with that, floss. Flossing is very important to maintaining a good, healthy smile. Now, there are going to be times where you don't feel very well. So, you know, just in case. Have some milk of magnesia, some Pepto-Bismol, and have it at hand just so that you will be, you know, you'll have it and you won't have to worry about 
if that time comes around where you might need something like that. I also use an effervescent anti-acid and pain relief solution. These are just, you plop them in a glass and pour in some water and it knocks it out. It really helps me at times when you have some tummy distress. Now colds are just one of those things in life and what I do is I love the salt. I love this Himalayan pink salt especially. And so what I do is I um, gargle with it with warm salt water when I have a sore throat or um, you know give yourself a little nasal cavity wash in your nose to uh, flush out and heal and also it's good for soaking just like Epsom salt is so if you need um, a soap bath to heal. I also use these um, effervescent tablets for cold relief. Um, I this works for me. Now, some people just can't stand these things. They hate them. I use the Tylenol um, type, and it's just, it's fantastic. It just knocks it out for me, and I feel so much better when I, when I use them. So, that's what I use. I prefer. Also, get some type of lozenger. This one is my favorite. I'm not trying to, uh, support any particular product label here. It's just these are my favorites. This hauls with uh, real lemon, I mean with real honey in it, really does soothe the throat and it's, it's just great. Along with that, get some type of medicated chest rub. This is great for your nasal congestion, your cough, everything. It's, you know, put it on your chest. Um, a good tip is to put it inside your nose. I learned this from the airlines. They have it on their site that when you're going on a trip, put some right prior to your trip inside your nose and it helps you on contracting any kind of virals or bacteria that's being, um, you know, pumped in through the air through their uh, system. So it's just an added protection. So that's a good little tip there. And also, I met a girl that her great-great-great-grandfather, I believe, I'm not sure how many greats are in there, but he made this stuff, and he sold it to Vicks, and um, he sold it for a million dollars, and I was like, wow, that's pretty crazy, so met the great-great-granddaughter of the guy who invented Vicks, Vapor Rub, or whatever rub it's called, it's, it has many names, but anyway, that was just a useful little tidbit of information. And, of course, always have some aspirin. Doctors recommend it for heart patients to have it, you know, to protect them. I use it because um, my blood tends to thicken. And so this helps uh, let the blow flow a little bit easier. And so I don't have any problems. And also for pain, of course. Now, in the center here, these are wonderful essential oils. I'm not going to go into all of them for you, but uh, trust me on this. Aromatherapy works. There's all kinds of uses for essential oils. Look it up online. I recommend these highly. And here's another thing that a lot of people are yay or nay about. Now, I like clean ears. I like to keep things clean in the crevices. And I love Q-tips. So, they tell you not to use them in your ears. I'm always very careful when I put them in my ears, and I've been doing this for years and has not caused any problems. I've also used them on my pets to clean their ears, and um, they're great makeup applicators. They're just great. I love Q-tips, so keep them. It's really good for uh, using them to put on different creams and antibiotics and things that you need whenever you get a boo-boo. Okay. Okay. Now, here's my first aid kit that I made. I got this little plastic container, and I got one red, so it'd be for first aid. And this is what I put in there. Oops, dropped one. All right, this is Cured. I got uh, sensitive skin um, band-aids. And the reason I got that is because it's, uh, it's best when you're hurt to get something that's going to be easy on your skin when your uh, skin is already traumatized. So that's the reason why I got that. So have band-aids. 
This is alcohol preps, little wipes that you can use. They're very helpful. There's also black drawing salve. Now this is an old remedy. You'll have to look it up online, but it's fantastic. It works well in healing. So trust me on that one. Yes, you do see a cream of butt aid. <laughs> Now, I know you're probably thinking, what the heck? There are times, I'm sorry, but there are times you might, as an adult, have a diaper rash. And that's caused from, like, eating spicy foods. You, it might be a little tender in that area. This works really well. I learned that from uh, when I was a daycare director. So, laugh, but it works. All right, another ointment that I love, it's my favorite ointment, is the triple antibiotic. This really helps in cuts and abrasions. It just seems to just do magic so quickly. And it's the greatest stuff ever. Um, this also, Bactracin. It has zinc in there, so that helps with the healing. It's also wonderful for an ointment to help you in healing. This is a burn relief gel. I highly recommend in having a burn gel because there are times that you're going to you're going to get burned on the fire or cooking inside or cooking outside whatever, you might get burned. So have some gel to relieve it and that will help with infections. All right, I've got a few things loose in here like antacids. Uh, this is uh, some sunscreen. I have a couple of those. Yeah. And a little wet nap there. This is another burn gel. This is a little balm. And oral analgesic. It's good to have this. You never know when you might have a toothache or something getting sore on a gum or whatever. So make sure you have one of those or, or just to have it for in case maybe one of your fellow campers might need it. Now this is hemorrhoid cream. Um, this can happen. So just in case, just have it ready. And the last one here is an instant ice compress. I don't know if anybody's ever used this cold therapy. It really is fantastic. All you do is just, um, just simply squeeze it and it gets activated. And so you'll have a nice instant ice cream on compress. Okay. So those are all the goodies that I highly recommend you having in your first aid kit. It's very useful. It's helpful. It'll take care of practically everything that might go wrong. If I've uh, forgotten anything, just let me know in the comments. Okay, there you go. Hope that was helpful. Just forgot to add one thing. Yay for 11 months of van living. Hope y'all get out there and live and do it too. All right, Beach Cricket out for real this time. Bye-bye.